my whole life flashed before my eyes. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Forever Here. I hope that you are all doing well. I'm so glad that you keep talking to me about Jun Kay. I'm so excited to hear this. Well, actually, this video kind of started because I just wanted to watch this with you. But if you have a look at the description, I found a couple of other things. You've suggested a couple of other things too. And uh, it's still a short video. I mean, this could go on for like an hour and I still wouldn't have quenched my thirst for Jun Kay. But nevertheless, we have to start somewhere. <laughs> so I'm going to watch this, uh, paint this love piano version. Oh, can I talk to you about 2pm? Because a really dear, hottest friend of mine recommended that I listen to Suddenly and I put together an entire video and it is blocked with no hope whatsoever. So if I get a little bit of time I would try and re-edit it. So basically me watching the 15th anniversary concert is a big no-no. <laughs> that is going to get me a strike and uh, so I'm going to try and get my video of Suddenly to you, okay, somehow. It's really difficult but please know that I listen to it and uh, it's so tough. It is so, so tough. I wish I could erase my memory and go back to the beginning of that 2pm journey and relive it with you because, gosh, I love 2pm so much. That is what I learned from that video. <laughs> so let's focus on Jun Kay for the moment and let's enjoy this and let's go. Shall we watch this together? Take two. <laughs> Look at his setup. What did I just watch? What did I just watch? That man is straight out of heaven. Firstly, I would just like to say that. And that is a fact. Um, and that was just, actually, that was way more beautiful than I was expecting it to be because I didn't take into account that he was going to have all of this equipment and stuff. And whoa, whoa, that voice is... What can I even say? What adjective can I use to describe that voice that I have not already used? Like, special is not good enough. Out of this world is not good enough. Uh, like, what am I supposed to say to even describe how that voice sounds? It's just rich. It's so different. That smoochin with his dog has really put me off because I, I had all this stuff that I was prepared to talk to you about um, but I'm so ready to hear his album whenever he's ready to share it with us because I know it's coming, it's brewing <laughs> but isn't that just absolutely amazing? This really reminds me of, what was that radio show? Do you remember I was really obsessed with that clip of him performing one of Brian McKnight's songs 
and I still have it saved in my watch later playlist. It's the oldest video that I've got in my uh, watch later playlist. It's right at the very bottom, the first one, and I will not get rid of it because I love that clip so much. But I always go back and I listen to it and him like roaring like a lion, like a proper alpha lion. His voice is just so masculine. It's absolutely delicious. Um, I'm going to need a moment to process this. But for some reason, like, I'm always kind of under the spell with Jun K, but for some reason, Paint This Love has just surpassed what I was expecting for it to be. Like, we've had so many things attached to it, so many performances that every single time I'm, like, blown away by it. It gives you all of the richness of his voice, but you get that kind of, like, spoken word, little hint of a rap. And I, I just think the song itself, because it's so, like, romantic, that it gives you so much more. It gives you what you really yearn from a voice like this. It's not often you get to hear what you like envisage from that artist so it's always really nice dare i move on to the next one oh is this gonna be a little bit sexy look at the look on his face are you trying to kill me? Oh. To be honest, like the look and the feel and the movement and the body and everything is a major bonus because let's be really honest about the situation. His voice alone is so damn sexy, isn't it? And when you pair that with everything else, it's just a uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, he is in a mood. I'm just talking on the point. You be talking, coy, she could not show no, no, no. I die, no, I'm got this. The way his voice fills up that space. This is how you sing live, ladies and gents. I'm gonna make this my ringtone. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't wait. I can't wait to be in the middle of a really serious meeting and for my phone to go off. Oh, he's mad. So the other microphone that he picked up had the vocal effect on it and he only wanted to use it for that specific bit. Like, wow. I don't know if I've ever seen an artist kind of do that before. That's really interesting. Like, he's kind of pulled a little bit of everything out of the bag right here. And I'm really glad that I'm able to focus on the voice because the mood of this is just, wow. Oh, 
Oh gosh, I love this. That's really clever. Everything about this performance was just so good. I mean, he was sexy, he was passionate, he was mad. And well, what overall as well, what they did with the whole staging with the dancers and then moving back, he was with the male dancers and he was doing this. It's really quite interesting to watch because I love seeing him with women doing this kind of like pair dancing. We've seen it before in 2 p.m. concerts, but it's the way that like even though he's in this whole mood, he's still so incredibly respectful. Like he wasn't overdoing it when he was dancing right here with this uh, female dancer. He was still being super respectful as you would expect from Minjin, uh, but it was so hot. Like, and I really love the use of the two microphones as well, because obviously there is a need to have that effect in the song, but he doesn't need to sing the whole song like that, right? Because you want to hear his natural voice. And I really love that. I mean, look at the way that he's touching her. It's super, super respectful. Just love to see him with women. Doesn't he just have like the smoothest, sorry, am I just watching the whole thing again? Doesn't he just have the smoothest skin as well? And I really love that he's got this little bit of a tan at the moment. Um, or like all the time, I guess. I guess because he like works out, your body looks quite good. And you can really see the definition of muscles when you've got the tan. <laughs> But yes, that is my excuse. So yeah, I, I thoroughly enjoyed that. And thank you to whoever recommended this to me. I know that you were trying to take my life, but not today. <laughs> Um, I've got one more thing to watch, which actually was a like a recommendation. It randomly popped up, and I'm looking forward to watching that. Uh, I was really surprised because I clicked on it thinking, is this the song that I'm thinking of? And uh, when I topped and tailed it to make sure, I was like, it is indeed. And I am really excited about it because never in a million years would I ever expect that he was going to cover that song. But why not? Why not? Let's go. You guys want some water? I'm sorry that this is portrait and not landscape, but I specifically chose it because the sound of this is amazing. Is this a death wish? Should I have put this on? He recorded backing vocals for it. I am like up against a wall. What do you want? I surrender. I am absolutely seething. If you were there, if you ever watched him perform this in real life, we can't be friends. I'm really sorry because you witnessed this and I did not and I will never get that opportunity. And I am seething with pure jealousy. Like, this song was made for him. Oh my god. My whole life flashed before my eyes.
like it's Christmas and I'm a kid and he's Santa. He really should release like, an official cover of this. That's a monstrous voice, isn't it? I absolutely died listening to that and I just have to go back. Where even was it that I'm thinking of? I think it was somewhere in the beginning. I was pretty much in a trance throughout that. I think it's when he gets into the proper song. He just roars like a lion all the way through. I wasted many, many years listening to really crappy artists and it takes me back actually. I think it was around like 2001, 2012 when like real music like this existed. I know that like there are little pockets of it around the world where they still, you know, artists still make music like this. But in those kind of years, those were like my definitive years where I really listened to like amazing music and this and him and us. <laughs> We belong right back there because that is everything that he reminds me of, like the quality of his voice, the quality of his performance, and everything that he thinks that he's going to put together. The way that he recreated this song as his own, like honestly, if you release that and, and let me listen to it, I would even forget who Tyler is. I'd be like, this is Jun K's song. That was absolutely spectacular. He sounds like a roaring lion, and you're sick of me saying it, but that is the best way to describe his voice. He is that lion, and oh, I'm just crazy about him, honestly. How is anything going to top this? Hopefully this got his like creative juices flowing though. I'm hoping that on his album he'll release a song a little bit like this. Oh my gosh. It was just such a good pick.
please do talk to me about everything that I watched in this video. I can't wait to hear from you. Uh, and thank you so much for constantly talking to me and your recommendations and, you know, comments across X and on YouTube and everything. I really, really thoroughly enjoy checking back in with Junkei every now and again. And uh, it seems to be more regularly these days, which is amazing for everyone. And um, hopefully we'll get that album soon because I am waiting to listen to like current stuff with him. He's obviously out there exploring, traveling, enjoying, and listening to lots of current music as well. And there's no doubt that when he releases his album, we'll get the signature Junkei kind of sound from him, right? That artistic kind of sound, but we'll get some, some trendy stuff because he's been listening to that. He's been into that mood. And, uh, I really look forward to that day. I want, and I am manifesting it for Junkei to have his own song with a similar feel to water. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Everything about his voice. I'm just utterly crazy for it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't wait to read all of your comments underneath this and just leave me alone. I need like 24 hours with this song and he doesn't even need to release it. And I don't need any better quality footage or anything from it because I'm just going to be listening to this. It, it's literally brought it all back to me. Let me tell you what it was that I was, um, that I've got in my playlist. You probably already know because you're like, I've, spoken about it on so many times but if i go right back to the bottom of my watch later playlist it's right there i just can't remember what the song's called one last cry and it was for one of those now radio shows i can't remember what it was called but he performed one last cry and uh it's just so amazing. It's like the shortest cover ever and it i, I go back to it so often and it always leaves me wanting more He's like that caliber of artist. But even if you're not currently listening to him, you're always thinking about him. I always make so many comparisons. And like, I obviously, in K-pop, I don't listen to that many people anymore. And I have my groups and everything that I support, and maybe publicly, maybe privately. But like Yeesung, Jun K, there are like a few names that are just unforgettable that I can't ever move past. But yes, talk to me in the comments below and leave me be. Thank you so much for watching this with me. I hope that you had fun. And until I see you next time, take care. Stay safe.